Scorpio, welcome back to the channel. Monica Love here at The Love Messages. So today we're gonna to be doing your reading from January 10th to the 16th. Now this is gonna be a general reading, so it may resonate with you, it may not. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. All right, Scorpio, so in this reading, I'm gonna be taking a look at past, present, and future for you. I'm going to clarify the cards and pull some advice. Okay, so your challenge here is the Five of Swords. And what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, Scorpio, is the Ace of Wands in reverse, okay? So your challenge here has a lot to do with a power struggle that you're experiencing with someone. I feel like you disagree with someone. They disagree with you. Somebody here wants things their way. You want things your way, okay? That's your challenge. We're gonna clarify this and see what the important messages surrounding this challenge for you this week in a moment now in the recent past you have the queen of cups you have the nine of swords and the eight of swords i do feel like in the recent past there was some sort of situation that you were worried about okay because you felt stuck you felt restricted you felt like you couldn't move you felt like you didn't have any um, form of freedom you may have felt defeated here in the recent past we're going to clarify this and get more information in a moment now in the present moment you have the four of cups the queen of pentacles and the ten of swords it looks like in the present moment for many of you, um, there's a very strong energy here of somebody acting like they're not interested. There's a very strong energy of, you know, I'm bored. I don't want to deal with this. I don't, I don't care about this. And that may be what's leading this situation to come to an end. Some of you are dealing with an earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. I'm also getting air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or maybe another water sign, Cancer. Okay. We're going to clarify this and get more information in a moment. Now in the near future, you have the four of wands, the five of wands and the knight of wands. Somebody here in the near future is confronted. Okay. Um, because somebody here is like, they're, 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 how do I put this? They're pointing to some sort of situation that needs to be resolved and they keep getting into this conflict. They keep bringing it up. They keep bringing it up. And this is really affecting maybe your home life, your relationship. Somebody here is also really in and out in the near future. Fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, okay? We're going to find out more when we clarify. Now, what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, Scorpio, you have the Ace of Wands, the Three of Swords, Hierophant, Three of Cups, Ace of Swords, the Five of Pentacles in reverse, okay? So what you don't see coming is the fact that a lot of you have had some sort of issues with someone here being able to be honest with you, okay? I feel like there's been some issues surrounding um, your relationships, your connections, maybe not being able to trust one another. That's been an issue here. I do feel in the past, Scorpio, there was an issue where there was a third party situation or there could have been some sort of lies um, dishonesty and that was never dealt with okay so someone here just com completely forgot about it they pretended like it never happened and that may be the reason why you and this person did not have a brand new beginning that you were supposed to have now the thought or the belief of being able to have a reconciliation may not be an option right now. And the reason why that may be is because somebody here hasn't been honest or they haven't been, they haven't been willing to confront the truth. And that may be the reason why there's so many conflicts right now surrounding your connection. Okay. I'm also seeing that eventually what you don't see coming is this person is going to come back. You have the five of pentacles here. So it's like, this is unfinished business. I think you and I both know that this conflict um, needs to happen to kind of get down to the bottom of what needs to be resolved between you and them. Okay, so let's get into your reading and let's see what's going on for you. Let's clarify your challenge. So the five of swords is clarified by the six of swords. You have the judgment and the lovers. Yeah. 
exactly what I just said. There's a power struggle between you and this person, okay? Do you both love each other? Absolutely. Do you both want to be together? Absolutely. But what is really um, coming to the forefront right now for you and this person is judgment, okay? You have the judgment here, which is telling me that you and your person are going through a major awakening now, major realization of things that need to transform within the connection. I do see an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini disconnecting from this connection from you because you are going through some sort of realization. And the more changes that are needed in your connection is what is gonna drive you and this person apart, Venus retrograde. Okay. Venus is retrograding in the sign of Capricorn until the 26th of January. So there will be trials and tribulations when it comes to your relationships. Okay. So your challenge here is to identify why you and this person can't seem to get on the, the same page. What needs to be resolved in your connection? Um, you know, specifically when this person disconnects, this person has disconnected and that's your challenge. During this disconnection, your challenge here is to realize what has led you and this person into division, what has led you and this person into a place of not being on the same page, and then finding some sort of sort of solution to get back on the same page. So separation is happening because it's part of your challenge. It's part of you needing to realize something to bring a solution to it, okay? So let's talk about the recent past. Now in the recent past, let's clarify the Queen of Cups. So the Queen of Cups is clarified by the Ace of Swords. You have the Seven of Pentacles and the Death. I do strongly believe for many of you in the recent past, there was a lot of uncertainty surrounding a connection. Is this over? Is it not over? Are we going to be together? Should I continue seeing you? Should I not? You know, there was a lot of uncertainty. And that's why a lot of you may have been in a place where you wanted truth and clarity um, surrounding this connection. That's why there may have been a lot of anxiety and fear on your end in the recent past. Tell me more about the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords is clarified by the Ten of Pentacles. You have the Four of Swords and the Seven of Wands. So I do see in the recent past for many of you, um, there may have been some sort of uncertainty surrounding whether or not you and this person were going to heal the connection, um, whether or not you and this person were going to find some sort of resolution. I feel like you still held on to this in the recent past, okay? And so did your person because there was a lot at stake here. I feel like you you invested, excuse me, a lot of time and energy into this, you know, over, over the years. So I don't feel like this is something that, you know, um, for many of you, this is a long-term commitment or connection, okay? It's not going to resonate with everyone, but I feel like majority of you that I'm talking to, you were in a long-term committed relationship in the recent past. Okay, and the thought of that ending or coming to an end really may have affected you. Okay, um, so you wanted truth and clarity about whether or not this connection was something that you should have still held on to. Now, in the present moment, it looks like something here is coming to an end. And the reason why it's coming to an end is because somebody here is acting like they're not interested. They feel like they're not needed or wanted. Tell me more about the Four of Cups in the present moment for Scorpio. So the Four of Cups is clarified by the, you have the Four of Cups, the Five of Cups, and the Justice. So for many of you in the present moment, I'm really strongly getting here that um, there's something here about, you know, feeling sad and feeling disappointed because something here hasn't worked out. There's a desire here in the present moment to work things out with you, okay? I think this is something that you want and, you know, you're, you're really determined to make this work, but there's something here that's coming to an end. It's like a painful ending and it's really brought a lot of sadness um, to you in the present moment. Tell me more about the Ten of Swords. So the Ten of Swords is clarified by the Nine of Pentacles, the Hangman, and the Star. So for many of you, I'm really strongly getting here that what is coming to an end is the waiting, the uncertainty surrounding whether or not this person wants to have a future with you. I do feel like somebody here is saying, you know what, fine, I can just be on my own. I don't have to be with you. I don't have to be in this situation of constantly needing to find out if we're meant to be together or if we're not meant to be together. So someone here in the present moment is realizing that the reason why the situation is coming to an end is because someone here has 
not been taking action towards the future. Someone has not been really identifying what needs to happen to move forward. Okay. So the idea of making this work needs two people to be on the same page. And I don't feel like you and this person are on the same page. Okay. And that may be the reason why it's coming to an end. Now in the near future, it looks like there's still a conflict surrounding the situation. Somebody here is in and out. They don't want to confront something here. And that may be affecting the stability of your relationship here in the near future. Now let's clarify the five of wands. So the five of wands is clarified by the 10 of wands. You have the five of pentacles and the knight of swords. So for many of you, I do see here, um, I do see here that there is a possibly a ending that's going to happen here in the near future because of a conflict. Somebody here, air sign Aquarius, Libra, Gemini is deciding to maybe disconnect from this situation because it's become too difficult. Tell me more about the Knight of Wands. I just see here in the near future, Scorpio, you're dealing with, with people, either a person or people who, you know, they don't want to be a part of this, um, this situation because it's become so difficult for them it's like they don't want to confront something here knight of wands is clarified by the page of wands you have the three of wands and the queen of wands yeah so somebody here the reason why they're in and out and on and off with you fire sign leo sagittarius aries is because they no longer want to be focused on this conflict okay every time you bring it up they're like nope i'm not doing this again nope i don't want to do this nope i don't want this person wants to move to the next level they're tired of being in this in this um you know it's like it's like the same thing over and over again, a conflict. Things just end up being in conflict with you, okay, in the near future. And this person may decide to completely move forward on their own. They may decide to completely have a new beginning on their own, okay, um, because it's become so difficult here in the near future is what I'm seeing, okay? It's not the greatest news, but that's what I'm seeing in the cards. Now, let's get some advice for you. What is the advice? Look at that. Three cards came out. I didn't even have to pull them. So important message for you. The important message here for you is the three of swords. You have the four of pentacles and the ten of pentacles. A lot of you need to recognize, okay? I'm going to tell you this right now. And a lot of you are not going to like what I'm about to say. But I need to say what I need to say because you all know I don't sugarcoat the readings. I keep it very clear and straightforward here, okay? So what I'm strongly getting here, your biggest piece of advice moving forward is you need to recognize if you wanna live the way you've been living, okay? So if you've been living in pain, if you've been living you know, with lies, fear, anxiety, um, being in this place of feeling hurt, carrying resentment, you need to ask yourself if you want to continue to live like that. Do you still want to hold on to that and be in a relationship and live with that? Some of you are in relationships where there's been lies, there's been cheating, there's been, you know, this person's been in and out, they've been using you, they've been taking advantage of the situation and you allow them to stay and you allow the situation to continue. And the reason why the conflict is here is because spirit is saying, look, the conflict is going to continue until you address the issue until the issue is addressed. It's not going to work. Okay. That's the honest truth. That's the honest truth. Scorpio, you may not like it, but that's the honest truth. Okay. So your piece of advice here is, is to ask yourself, do I want to live in lies? Do I want to live in fear? Do I want to live with pain? Because that's what you're doing every time this person runs away. You have to make a decision if that's the way you want to live. And then you need to decide and plan accordingly. Okay. But what spirit is saying is if you continue to hold on to resentment and you continue to not deal with the situation, whether that's you or your person, then you both are still going to have resentment. There's still going to be power struggles. There's still going to be conflict until you confront the issues of the past that you have still been holding on to and your person's still been holding on to. And you want to know something that's going to involve both you and this person, not just you, but both you and this person. And if this person doesn't want to do that, then that's when you need to decide if you want to live like that moving forward, because nothing is going to change. It's going to be the same way it's been for all these years, okay, or all these months or all these weeks until you confront the real issue. And the real issue 
is the three of swords and you know what that is okay so you need to confront something here that's your advice or continue to live the way you've lived don't expect things to change unless you deal with your situation okay so this is what i have for you it's a very harsh reading i know a lot of you are not going to like me after the reading but you all know i keep it real okay so i hope you got something out of it thanks so much for tuning in and i'll see you on the next one bye